Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video talking about will we see the return of Tara and Lily in The Walking Dead second half of season four. Right, so this is one a few people asked me to go ahead and do as a video suggestion, and I thought it was a pretty good one, makes sense. Uh, and this is this is a very good question, I think, is will they return now that the governor uh, has died, has been killed off by Michonne, of course, and the prison is lost. So basically, of course, Rick's group, the prison group, is completely separated in every which direction you can imagine and will be in all kinds of different, you know, different spots, different locations, and we'll probably start to see them reunite, find each other, and get back together, uh, reforming their group slowly, uh, piece by piece, and then probably maybe two big sections or a couple big sections uh, back together, right? Um, now that said, will we see Tara and will we see Lily return? So will they run into Rick's group or will we switch focus to them at some point in time during the rest of the series or are they gone forever? Now there's a good amount of rumors that Tara may be promoted to a season regular in The Walking Dead Season 5. As far as I know, they're just rumors. They're not confirmed. Uh, I heard that uh, from a lot of uh, people and also reading online some different articles that possibly the actress that plays Tara uh, signed on for a good portion of Season 4 and possibly to be a regular in Season 5 or at least have, you know, be like, like a member of the group, a part of the group in Season 5. Now, how much weight should we give to that? I, I really don't know. Uh, it doesn't sound to me, you know, like like that's accurate that, that we would be hearing about, you know, casting for season five already. And a lot of times people will edit wikis or IMDB and stuff like this and just write stuff like that. Even when they don't know for sure <laughs> what's going to happen, they're just guessing at it and then everyone else will run with it and think that's how it's going to be. Now, in the comic book series, it's worth saying that both of them uh, or their counterparts, so to speak, for who they are in the in the comic book series, uh, completely disappear. Um, and we never see them again. They stay at the prison. Now, the last time we saw both of these two, Tara was running away during the gun battle and everything. She was losing it. And she, just, she just took off, basically. In the same direction that a lot of walkers are walking towards the prison in. So she would have had her hands full of just trying to... Uh, avoid walkers and just get away while being just scared absolutely out of her out of her mind um, what I will say is if if they're not going to include Tara and she's not going to run into anybody in Rick's group or anything like that in the future season four I would like to see her fate though you know what I mean like I would like to see them do something with her so if she's running away from the prison and she's you know scared like that whole look on her face she had when she when she left right um, is she, you know, running through all these walkers? Are they chasing after her? Is she going to get bitten by one? If she's not going to return as a character in the series, I'd rather not see her just disappear. I'd rather see her be killed by a zombie or something, just so we know exactly what happened with her. If it's just in the next episode, so in episode 9 or 10, something like that, I really would like to see what happens with her, because I thought she was... A pretty interesting character to see somebody who really hasn't adapted to this world is not prepared for a gunfight is you know it, it adds a human aspect to it uh, for a lot of, of females that's like what would they be like in a zombie apocalypse if they're not Michonne and they don't have a katana and they're not able to you know just annihilate walkers left right and center someone who's basically defenseless could she survive just by running away and you know biding her time and, and, and doing what she did before which is you know hunkering down and just being really um, careful and just basically trying to disappear you know uh, by and running away so she's got unique character traits um, as well too uh, that I, I, I would kind of like to see them do something with Tara at least between the two I'd like to see more with Tara than with Lily uh, So so those are my thoughts on Tara with Lily. I mean she had the romantic relationship with the governor We're running into the type of situation where it's like is she gonna be an Andrea clone because you know what happened with Andrea before same kind of deal is she gonna survive? Is she gonna die? Her daughter's dead now. So I guess she's not a clone of it. She's not exactly like Andrea, but you know, her daughter's dead and um, you know, where, where, where does she go from here? What do they do with her from here? So 
I don't know. I mean, with regards to her, I guess I'm not as interested to see what happens with her as I am with Tara. But, um, you know, at the same time, I still would like to see something happen with her. Maybe get reunited with Tara and then possibly them join Rick's group. And uh, it would be interesting to hear some dialogue between them explaining what happened with the governor, who he was uh, from their perspective and everything, and uh, how he was able to talk this group into attacking the prison so that Rick's group would get some kind of understanding of, of what happened on the other side of it, like we all got to see, uh, would be cool too. So her, I don't care so much about, but definitely Tara I would like to see again in the series, possibly join Rick's group. It'd be interesting to see her develop from where she's at right now, this scared, timid uh, little girl not able to protect herself or anything, to see if she could become a strong survivor in a couple seasons or something. Something like that, or she would just die right away. Um, I think there's interesting, uh, there's an interesting bit of story there that they could tell with that. Now that said, um, what's the likelihood? What do I think the chances are? I'd say it's pretty close to a 50-50 that we'll never see them again in the series. 50% uh, chance we will. Like the uh, Morales family, never see them again. You know that type of thing. They've served their purpose with the governor. Uh, time to let them go and who cares about what happens to them. Uh, I'm more on the side that I would like to see what happens to them and see if they're able to survive and see you know what they do with them versus the Morales approach which is to let them just disappear and we never see them again. Assume they died or something like that. Uh, I think I lean more in terms of odds. I'll give it about a 60% chance I'm thinking that they'll disappear into the background and we'll never see them again as characters just like the Morales uh, family or 40% chance that we will see them again. I'm hoping to the 40, but I think those are the odds. Now, what I wanna know from you guys is, in the comments below, let me know if you do wanna see them return again, and if you think they will. So those two, if they'll return, and do you wanna see them return, or do you just not care at all, and why? Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, those are my thoughts on them. I hope we see them again, but I don't think we will. I'm leaning towards that they're just gonna disappear, and that'll be it. But I like at least if they're gonna die or something, I'd like to see exactly what happens. I think that'd be interesting to see. Uh, anyway, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.